Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it seems like our channel is never going to have constant videos based on what I'm saying, but as much as the summer is finally here, our lives are still so busy, so we're going to try to just throw up videos all the time. They're about to get really fun. I think Cassie has a haul video that's a try on haul. I'm going to be doing a um, empties video soon. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm of course going to continue this professionalism series. So I'm really, really excited about it. The last video turned to, out to be a lot more exciting than I thought it would actually be. It's really cool making that video, and I love sharing that stuff with y'all. So please, 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 please subscribe. Um, I love everybody who is subscribed right now. Y'all are amazing. Keep on commenting on the videos. Keep on interacting with us on Instagram and on Twitter. And let's get this started. So today. Today I'm going to be talking about professionalism via social media, which is really, really challenging and tricky because social media is a huge part of our lives now. Um, I mean, YouTube is its own social media platform in itself, and then you have Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Instagram, a lot of ones that I still don't use, Snapchat, um, there's probably going to be trillions of them in the future. And so we need to be really cautious and knowledgeable about what we're putting on that social media and how we're showing ourselves to the world, especially if we're professionals or we're going to be applying for a school or we're going to be applying for a job. These are really, really important. So let's get started. Disregard the computer if y'all can see it. I don't even know if y'all can see it. Um, I just have my notes so I don't miss anything. Um, and yeah, let's be in. So, my first thing is positive social media because we have a lot of negative ideas of professionalism on social media, but I really, really, really want to emphasize the positives of social media. Number one, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an amazing professional social media site. You should have a LinkedIn profile and you should be monitoring it and you should be, hmm, how do I describe it? You need to be active on that LinkedIn because Future, future employers and people who are trying to get in contact with people in your field will be on that website. And it's actually pretty cool. It's like having a virtual resume. Um, I'll show you a picture on the screen of a little snapshot of my LinkedIn. I was not forced, but strongly encouraged to make a LinkedIn years ago, which I'm really thankful for because I had little classes on how to make LinkedIn profiles that are professional. They have tons of information on um, the internet about how to appropriately make a LinkedIn profile. Keep it active, keep it up to date, put your resume on it, put a professional photo on it, like this or this. I was lucky enough to have headshots, so yay, I had professional headshots made for one of my previous jobs, so I have them. But it's really not that hard to have a professional headshot. Just have a blank background, you looking nice and smile pretty. Except I don't know if this would be appropriate. But anyway, just easy mega headshot. Headshots are amazing and they will be needed many times in the future. I've used my headshots so many times already and it's just nice to have a go-to headshot. Okay. So once you got your LinkedIn profile perfectly set up and gorgeous and beautiful, we need to talk about how you're going to proceed to make your perception on social media and what you're going to look like to future employers or people who are working for you or whatever you're doing in the future. It's really hard because social media is out there and what stays, gets put on the internet stays on the internet. Um, so we gotta be really careful and you gotta be smart. Just be smart about it because this is gonna be something that might haunt you in the future. So be careful about what you put. So first of all, my number one rule right now is real world, ugh, real world rules still apply. If you're not gonna be doing this in the real world, if you would not put that out for everyone to see in person, don't put it on social media. If you are not going to say this face to face to a person, don't put it on social media. If you would not do this publicly in front of everyone, don't put it on social media. 
And that's going to cancel out a lot of possible uh, mishaps via social media if you go with that rule. So just, it used to be don't put it on social media if you wouldn't want your mother to see it. But I don't even know if that still works as a rule. Um, I still see people putting really, 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 really dumb things on social media. And I'm like, do you need So that's my number one rule. So first and foremost, if you're not going to do this in the real world, don't put it on social media. Second, don't ever post anything super negative about anyone, your job, um, something that happened in your life. Like don't insult anything um, because that's unprofessional in general. You don't. You wouldn't say that to your boss's face. You wouldn't post, my boss is a dick. Like, if you put that on social media, would you ever say that to your boss's face? No. If you would, then you need to leave your job because that's dumb. But don't put anything like that. Don't insult anyone around you. That's just immaturity, for one thing, and unprofessional. So don't ever do that. Um, the next rule is do not use social media. This probably goes to the last one. Do not use social media as your diary. It is not your diary, okay? You have a diary, which is either the one you write in or the best friend that you go and bitch at. That's your diary, okay? Social media is not out there to give every single little thing and opinion for that happen. You, if you need to get some anger out, do that by getting a drink with friends or do that by writing it down. Do not do that via social media. One. I'm sorry, but half the people on my social media probably don't care about what that happened. And two, that's not something that everyone in the world needs to hear. That's just, that's your own personal issue. That's your own personal issue at this moment. So let's, let's keep it your own personal issue. But you can vent about for one night and then you can move on with your life. So going with that, keep your social media positive. You want to seem like a positive person with a positive outlook on your life. Still be you though. Don't create this like fake persona because when they meet you in person or anyone who knows you, they're going to know this is entirely fake. Just be yourself but be a positive version of yourself. Just keep the positive side in social media, not the negative stuff. Because negative stuff makes you look like a Debbie Downer. Maybe not. No one wants to work with a Debbie Downer. Next. Okay? Privacy settings, they're brilliant. Even though what you put on social on the internet never leaves the internet, so be careful about that. But privacy settings are glorious because you can prevent anyone from seeing all that stuff that you put or the stuff in the past that you put. Um, so I would definitely put everything on private, as private as you could possibly do, except for your LinkedIn, because you want people to be able to see your LinkedIn. But just because you have everything on private doesn't mean you have free range on social media because anyone can still see things on social media. You can bypass privacy settings. There's hackers everywhere. So, make it private so that you have a little cushion of safety, but also, yeah, don't put stupid stuff anyway, but put those privacy settings on. Privacy, 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 privacy. Um, also, Use proper grammar on social media because if you're trying to get a job in the future and if they somehow get past your privacy settings and they see that you're using like devil negatives and not fun words right and just putting stuff that makes you look like you did not get an elementary education, they're not going to want to have an interview with you. They're not going to want to socialize with you. It's just It just makes you look like an uneducated person, I don't know, it just doesn't really show your positive side. It doesn't show the good of you. You want to, you want people to see the good of you on social media, not this unfortunate side of you over here. So keep it on the positive side, keep your grammar proper, and I understand how hard that is because I have so many issues with grammar. Even though I have a college degree, don't understand how that happened. But 
that is something, try, try to have a little class and etiquette on social media. Oh my gosh, I can call this social media etiquette. Etiquette class for Katie. Oh, the options. Etiquette class. Social edit. Social media etiquette for Katie. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um. And lastly, my two other things about being careful of posting on social media are the photos you're posting. And I know this seems obvious, but people still do it. I'm pretty sure I did it once or twice in my college career, which is really, really stupid of me. But do not post pictures of you getting drunk at a party. Please do not be tagged in those photos, do not post photos of that, because that just is not the positive, beautiful, glorious side of yourself, instead of the negative, not so glorious side of yourself. Do not post that. That's, there's nothing, there's nothing about that that is good. Nothing. If you want those memories, save those pictures on your computer and look at them later. Do not put them on social media. Um, and also, be careful with the links that you share. And this is really, 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 really a touchy subject because you want to use the links that you share. Most of them, some of them are funny links, like a dog going in a pool or a dog doing funny things, which I love. I love those links. But some of them are very political or very religious oriented or very, I don't know, strong opinionated links. And as much as you don't want to lie about your opinion or just stand back and not give your opinions, you got to be careful with those links because I don't even know. This is a really touchy subject to go because you don't you don't want to be unbiased on social media um, because you still want to be yourself, but you don't want to be an extremist on social media. Social media is not the time to be an extremist. Time to be an extremist is when you're having a debate, not an argument, a debate with your friends about your opinions or something like that, but not social media. Don't don't post some extremist political side or anything like that via social media because that the idea of you being an extremist is not very opinion a good not very good positive opinion of you um, via social media and sometimes that things you need to keep away from your public image if you want to say that because at work you're probably going to have to keep that away from your work environment just because it's not supposed to be in a work environment so I think your employees would like to see that you can keep it pretty unbiased in certain situations and you have an opinion but it's not one that could cause tension or argument. So just be be very careful and think about what this is going to look like if you were to share this post. Not only the positive, but also the negative. You need to look at both sides and that's a really good thing to do when it comes to all of this social media and all of this that we're talking about right now is try to take yourself and your opinions out of the situation and look from look at it from someone else's point of view and see what they would see. If, if you can think of something negative that's actually truly a negative thing, then I would definitely suggest not posting that. But of course, don't take your personality out of it. So it's, it's, a, it's a balancing act. Your positive self with your opinions that could be sometimes Keep it more positive. Keep your public image positive and happy and not extremist and things like that. So overall, create a LinkedIn, number one. Number two, keep your public image positive. Um, don't rant, don't put negative posts, don't make it your diary. Keep this positive image of yourself because as much as this sound bad, Social media can be almost like selling yourself to a future employer or for anyone looking at it. Use proper grammar and be very, very careful with the photos that you post and the links that you share. And overall, don't forget, real world rules still apply. Remember that. And I'm actually still learning about social media etiquette, so please, 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 please comment 
Um, give me your ideas. Give me your experiences with social media and unprofessionalism or professionalism on social media. And just really join the conversation because even via YouTube, you got to be careful what you post. So if you would like to share, if you'd like to make a comment, if you'd like to subscribe, if you'd like to like, if you'd like to like, that's not proper grammar as you, as you can tell. Anyway, I will see you next time. Um, keep on joining us on our channel. We're gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna try, cross our fingers, that we're gonna try to start doing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of videos. We'll see if that happens. But anyway, Bye guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.